Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. In a previous video, I showed how we can build a Bluetooth adapter for the C64 with an ESP32 board and a few transistors, so that we can play games with up to two Bluetooth controllers. In this video, we will replace the quick and dirty solution with this new, more advanced board that I designed, called Blue64. Like with the first prototype, this new version supports two Bluetooth controllers to replace the original joysticks, but is now able to send any keystroke to the computer, thus allowing complete keyboard emulation. This enables a few neat little tricks that we'll look at in a minute, but first, let's see how this thing works. Just like the old prototype, Blue64 uses an ESP32 that provides Bluetooth connectivity thanks to the BluePad32 library from Ricardo Quezada. The board plugs onto the keyboard header inside the machine and is able to drive the first five column lines and the first five row lines, which are connected to the joystick directions and primary button. Pulling these lines down with an open collector transistor emulates a button press from the joystick. In addition to this, this board can emulate any keystroke, though only one at a time, by connecting any row line with any column line via two 8 to 1 analog multiplexers connected back to back. So for instance, if we were to control the multiplexer to connect column 1 with row 6, we would be emulating a keystroke on key E of the keyboard. An exception to this rule are the modifier keys Control, Commodore and Shift. These keys have dedicated switches that allow pressing them all simultaneously on top of one other regular key. So for instance, we could emulate the Control plus Commodore plus Shift plus E key combination, as each of these keystrokes can be fed simultaneously. The Restore key also has its own dedicated switch. With that out of the way, let's assemble the board and see how it works in practice. Since the board is going to hang over other internal chips, I decided to leave the bottom layer as empty and flat as possible to avoid contact, especially in the area furthest away from the connector. On the top, a portion of the board needs to be left free in order to be able to slide the keyboard connector, so I decided to place the analog switches below the ESP32 itself as there is enough space between the boards. This does however prevent accessing a few components once the ESP32 is installed, so this might change in a future revision. I decided to use the full ESP32 dev kit instead of just the RF module to make it easy for anyone to flash a new firmware without having to use an external programmer. Moreover, the circuit is designed so that the ESP32 32 can be safely reprogrammed while plugged into the computer, regardless of whether the C64 is on or off. Here we see that the controller pairs and connect to the Blue64 immediately after the computer is powered on. By pressing the A or B button while holding select, we can cycle through a series of useful actions that would normally require typing on the keyboard, such as loading the disk drive or starting the tape. Pressing the start button will trigger the selected action, like with this simple program that changes the color of the screen, or even log in device information to screen. The Blue64 is feeding all the keystrokes to the computer just as if we were typing them on the real keyboard effectively typing all necessary text and instructions to perform the desired action. Unfortunately, support for Bluetooth keyboards in BluePad 32 is still experimental, so I wasn't able to get it to work yet, but that should be possible in the future. There's a lot more this board can do, but I wanted to share the state of the project at this early stage in order to gather feedback from the community. If you're interested in testing the Blue64 or contributing to the project in general, please follow the link to GitHub in the description, and don't hesitate to get in touch via Discord. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting, thanks again for watching, and see you all next time!